Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to use import and export option. One of my viewers want to know how to deploy your development reports on production environment or on other server. For this, for this we are going to use import and export. If you want to use import and export, you must require IBM Cognos administration privileges. Without IBM Cognos administration, we are not able to perform this operation. So let's say export this North Wind FM package and I want to import this on my another Cognos environment. Inside our North Wind FM package, we have all of this report. Export our North Wind FM package and reports available inside this. Our Cognos tutorial app is now available. In our Cognos tutorial app, you can find tutorials, interview questions with answers, quiz, offline features for video and articles, job alerts, you can ask your queries, you can find dumps for certification, live training alerts, and much more. Download URL is available in the description of this video. For personal, group, or online training, contact us. For this, I'm going to click on launch. IBM Cognos administration. I'm going to click on configuration. I'm going to select content administration. Here, I'm going to click on new export. Okay. And let's say, let's name it North Wind. I'm going to click on next. Select public folder directory and library. I'm going to click on next. And if you want to create the entire content store backup you can select this option okay but for the time being i want to import only north wind and its content so that's why i'm going to select only this option so click on next now we have we need to select what we want to export for this i'm going to click on add and inside public folder we have north wind so i am to select this and then I'm going to click on OK. So our North Wind is selected. Now we have a few more options. Include include report output version, include run history, include schedules. No, I don't want to include report output version. I don't want to in include report run history. Why? Because this is my development environment. And in this development environment, we have lots of executions. Okay. And I don't want to import all those on my production environment. Okay. If you want, feel free to select all this option. But practically, if you are going to move from development to production or QA, you don't need to include this option. But let's say I am creating a replica for this environment, then maybe I can select all these options. Okay. So for the time being, I'm not going to check all this checkbox. I'm going to click on next. Include Cognos group and roles. No. In include distribution list we did not create anything right now so that's why we are going to ignore this include data sources and connection uh, you may select this option but in our another environment we already have our connection created so let me select this is my second environment if i'm going to click on launch ibm cognos administration and configuration data source are not available so we need to include data source related information so i'm going to select my first environment and yes i want to include data source and yes i want to include sign-ons if anything is available on my production environment then replace existing entries but most probably if you are going to move to qa then definitely you don't want to include data source why for the same reason, the development environment is different and QA environment is different or production environment is different. Maybe your data sources are also going to be different in QA and production. I'm not talking about the data source. I'm talking about database or database username and password. Okay, so let's say here on my development environment, we are using great sales order connection but inside this connection we are using uh, a database connection with user dev with password one two three maybe on qa the same source is created with another username let's say qa and password is again qa and in production 
we have same data sources created with the username production and with password production. So in such scenario, I don't want to replace existing data source and connection. Okay, but for me, my both environment are same. Actually, this Windows VM is a clone of this Windows machine. So that's why for me, data source, database name, database user, everything is same. Except in this environment, we have our Cognos FM and reports already created. But in this environment, we have a, in, in our this second clone environment, in our this clone environment, we have a fresh installation for IBM Cognos. Okay, so this is the only difference between these two. And I also changed the preference so we can understand on which environment we are working right now. So this is the only difference between these two VMs. So let me select my first VM and I'm going to click on next. Okay. Access permission, I don't want. External name pa namespace, right now, no. Entry ownership, the owner from the source, uh, I don't want to change anything from here. Recording level, let's say basic, I don't want to change this. Then I'm going to click on next. Okay. So everything is done. Now encrypt the content with password. So I want to encrypt this. I'm going to use password one two three four five six seven eight nine again I'm going to repeat this password one two three four five six seven eight nine okay ensure you are going to save this password somewhere safe okay if you are going to forget this password you are not able to re-import this so let me click on ok and then I'm to click on next and we are almost done now we are going to click on next so our import settings are done now we are going to execute this import okay now we have multiple option i'm going to select save and run once you can save this and schedule it or you can save it only but for me i'm going to select this save and run once option if you want to save this and if you want to automate the backup for your development environment, you can select save and schedule option. So let's say every end of the day, I want to save my work, then I can use save and schedule option. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to select the first option and then I'm going to click on finish. Now, what time you want to execute? I want to execute it right now. So I'm going to click on run. Yes, I want to check everything click on OK and now our execution is started successfully refresh it and our execution status is succeeded now we have a information export is complete 29 objects are exported 0 objects are failed do not confuse between this failed keyword ok failed is 0 now where is our these reports are exported for this, I'm going to minimize my browser and I'm okay. We already there. So this is the place where your export files are available. So we are in C program files, IBM Cognos BI development deployment. Sorry. So IBM Cognos BI is our Cognos installation directory. Deployment is the folder in which we are able to find all the files. Okay all the exported files you can say so this is our north wind our fm package and reports are exported our fm package and our fm package and reports are exported successfully now for importing we are going to paste this zip file on the same path for this i need to first copy this and i'm going to paste it on my shared directory Okay, so let me try in data folder. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to open my second environment. So this is my Windows 10 clone. And inside this, I'm going to open File Explorer. 
my files are available inside e drive and data and this is north wind so i'm going to right click i want to copy this this pc c drive data it is pasted here successfully let me try one more time Finally, your files are copied. Now I'm going to open my browser again and I'm in IBM Cognos administration. I'm going to select configuration type. I'm going to select content administration and I want to this time I'm going to select new import. And we need to select our zip file. So it's North wind. Oops. Configuration, Content Administrator, I'm going to select New Import, Northwind, click on Next. Now we need to provide our password, okay? If the password is not correct, you are not able to import this zip file. Our password is 12345689, I'm going to click on OK. Yes, everything is same. I don't want to change anything. So I'm going to click on next. Select the public folder and directory content. New import wizard. Change the target name. No, I'm fine with these changes. I'm going to select next. Include data source and connection. Yes, I want this. Click on next. And for the rest of the thing, I'm going to click on next. Yes, click on next and finally I want to save it and run once and I want to run it right now. So click on run. Yes, click on OK and wait for the execution to complete and our execution is completed successfully. 29 objects are imported, 0 object is failed. Now let me go on IBM Cognos or let me first check whether we have our data source created or not. So I'm going to click on data source connection. I want to refresh this. And yes, our data source are imported successfully. Now let me click on launch. I'm going to select IBM Cognos connection. This is our Northwind FM package and all are, all these are reports. Now I'm not, uh, let's say whether we are able to test it or not. I'm not sure. Okay. So let me first check whether our database services are up or up and running. For this, I'm going to open services.msc and Northwind is hosted on SQL Server. So I'm going to first start it. Close. It is running. Let's try this time. Let's try to run one of this report. This one. I want to run this report. So finally our report is executed successfully. Now this is how you can use import and export using IBM Cognos administration. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for any other video, feel free to provide your requirement in the comment section. I will try to create those report as soon as possible. Finally, if you like this video, don't forget to click on thumbs up, click on subscribe button, provide your feedback, share it with your friend and see you all in next IBM Kaunos tutorial video. Some important URLs.